So before we start in, we're gonna do a, a little game. So if you have a paper and notes, bring him. If you don't, we have like some papers here. Yeah. Je peux le distribuer. Non, non. Self service. So I discovered that it's better to, to do a workshop, a quick workshop, than just me talking. Guys, no cheating. Everyone need a paper. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can take from uh, other people. Guys, let's uh, share. If you have a block note, share it. Yes, you will not need the full block note. <laughs> I'm sure. Everyone have a paper? Anyone need paper, pen? No one? Okay. I want you to draw the person next to you. You have 45 seconds. 45 seconds, guys. Yes, the person next to you. <laughs> it was a trap. <laughs> Everyone is requested to do the this exercise, guys. For the people who just joined us, I want you to draw the person next to you. Try to have a, a paper from the people next to you, or like a pen. Time's up. Show us your beautiful art. Wow, very creative. Cool. You can flip the paper so people behind you can see your artistic ability. <laughs> that's, that's all what we need. So the exercise of today, it's not about your capability. I saw that half of people raised their hand when we said, that, are you creative? But some, t some people mix between creativity and artistic, which is two, two different things. And the exercise was making the job done, which is just drawing someone else. So we're going to keep this game a little bit. And we're going to keep sketching. I want you to draw a baby. And now you have 10 seconds. It's less. Baby, I want you to draw a car. I want you to draw innovation. <laughs> exactly. Innovation, innovation. <laughs> no, innovation. So I'm going to repeat my question. Do you consider yourself creative? Raise your hand. Lesser. <laughs> Normally this exercise, more people like raising their hand after the, the exercise. But as I said, people mix between creativity and capability of artistic ability. And uh, we're done of exercises. Some people take it as a trap. We're just taking break from all the technical K notes. <laughs> so it's a resting one. So. I want you to design the ideal wallet. Not a draw, design the ideal wallet. 45 seconds. <laughs> the ideal wallet. The wallet that it's gonna solve all of your problem. The wallet that you, you dream about. Time is up. K 
can you show us what you did? <laughs> so what is for you uh, the ideal wallet? Sorry. Uh, I, I actually draw a drawer full of banknotes. OK, for you, this is the ideal wallet. Yeah, because I was thinking, like, first you pick wallets, but something I put my money. A lot of money. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> So basically, I, I did a small list. I just managed to like uh, have three bullet points. Small, contain all my info, and have some form of biometric ID. So like a ring. Okay. You have that and connect it to... Very interesting. Cool. So how many of you, uh, when we said design a wallet, they start like, going for a solution for their wallet, something that they don't have? If you create a solution for your wallet, raise your hand through this door. Okay, cool. I, I just want to tell you that this is a fail test. Normally, when we create innovative or like just ideas, we don't go for a solution directly. And this is the goal of today. Not just jump into the solution, but uh, mainly do some steps. And this step is empathize, define, ideate. And of course, we're not going to do it all of it today. We're going to do just two parts, which is empathize and define. The same question, but choose your partner. Can you choose someone next to you? This is a, a teammate work. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> you can change him. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> so everyone have a partner. I want you to design uh, a better wallet for this person next to you. Design a wallet for this person, not for you. <laughs> And you have four minutes for that. You don't have a, who doesn't have a partner? I'm your partner. I'm your partner. Ask me. <laughs> I, I need to design a better uh, wallet for you. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. What would be the size, the ideal size for a size for your wallet? Meaning, where are you going to store it? In the in the bag or in your pocket? Or in my pocket. In your pocket. Do uh, you care about color? Uh, I'm a neutral person. Yes. Sorry. Uh, nude. Nude. All right. So, okay. Uh, what kind of? Uh, what is the purpose of your wallet? Is it to carry money, card, other yes. stuff? Yes. 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 More personal. So, what kind of personal stuff? I mean, no, no, but personal stuff meaning not the usual stuff. Like you said, the ring. So you need to store just cards, money. Uh, ID cards, ID cards, Visa cards, and so on. Yeah, I guess it's notes. Yeah, and notes, a pen, a small pen. Oh, pen. Okay. Yeah, I see. And uh, and uh, what about uh, shoes? I don't want to buy it because yeah, it's. Yeah, I don't like the idea of my wallet. Okay. And uh, okay, do you do you care about say um, security? Because in mine, I designed my app to yes. protect against yes. from a distance reading yes. card. And uh, would you want to have a, would you want to have a special, special uh, design that 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 make it easy to ride from the bus and so on? Yeah, it's easier. Yeah. Okay. And also, when you open some, you have two face. One would be for to show your idea, but the other one would be because it's protected, but against uh, you know to, to be able to pay a card by by, by contact. Uh, or you prefer to safety. get it. Yes, so when it's closed, yeah. safety. When it's open, then you can take it out. Okay, so it's for safety. Okay, so you want it to be safe even if it's open. Exactly. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to come back to you. Sorry. So where are we? Did we design the best wallet for our partner? What is this? Yes, shy. Yes. Who did? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> because you, you look so motivated. Can you tell us about your? 
So for me, basically, it's just a clip for credit cards, because this is what we use mostly now. OK. And uh, it's a flower. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it. Did you did you do the side for him? No, I did a, a girl's wallet. So cool. Small Woman power. power. When you shake it, it takes many out. So it's perfect. Uh, can you repeat? I did. You have a small wallet. When yes. You shake it. It really gives you. It's time. rain. Yes. It cool. So, okay. Cool. <laughs> so whatever, if someone wanted to, to stall you, just shake her wallet. Nothing else. <laughs> So, okay, as the time is running, I'm going to be a little bit no noisy by asking your partner. I guess everyone was asking the, each other and giving them ideas, but now you need to ask him why. Why you want this color? Because I love this color. Why you need a wallet? Because I need to save my money. Why you want to save your, my, my money? Typically, people end up here because my family told me to have a wallet. But like, let's not go there. Let's ask each, each other why you need, for example, this solution. Why you need. And then you're going to find the end solution is really different than the first one. Can we get it? Ask your partner five whys. <laughs> More simple? <laughs> Don't hate me. <laughs> why the flower? Why you want to shake the wallet? Why you want the coins out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm back to you. Yes. Why do you want it nude, the color? Uh, because uh, I hate. Uh... <laughs> yeah, why not beige? Page is entered to the mute, the public, so it's Um Why? Uh, why save? Yeah, why save? Because I'm always scared to lose cards. <laughs> and why are you scared? Because nothing is safe. This word, nothing is safe. Really? You don't live here? That's in... No, that's <laughs> I need to move on here so I can remember this picture. Actually, it's a very good question. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because I never carry a wallet myself. Too. Why do you need a wallet? Because I have many cards. Oh, I have And I need to uh, have like a uh, physical card. Okay. So the card is the main uh, purpose. Exactly. So a card holder would be fine. A card. Fine, but like more safe one. Yeah. Well, you answered all my voice. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Are we okay? Did we identify the wise? Did we identify the wise? All of us? Raise your hand if you. <laughs> Just two people? Just three people? One question. The why goes backwards for the same. So, for example, I want to buy what is uh, small. Why? To put it in the pocket. Why? Because they want to buy something. Why? In the sense, or put why like five features in one why for each? No, uh, you need to go all the way oh, down. So all the way down, yes. Okay. Uh, do we give extra time to do that? We manage only for one person Four wise. Okay, I'm gonna give you ten seconds to finish the five wise. Good. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, I guess I'm, I'm going to remove the 10 seconds because basically I have two minutes left. Uh, I want you to just identify the needs from this why. Normally, this uh, methodology is to get the real need from, from the, the product itself. So just take all that sentence and find the needs. No, normally, there are more verbs than nouns. Take all the words that you, you took and just uh, that you put and took the verb out of it. And this is the real need of each why. Can we do that like really short?
The trick today is not basically me just talking, talking, but like uh, doing a small crash course that you can be doing it for extra time. People do it for a half a day. So we just share in methodology that you can lose like later. Okay? So let's do it fast. Now it's... Time's up. Five minutes more, thanks. Okay. <laughs> hmm? Yes. Uh, you're gonna have to accept it. Okay. Okay. They're gonna kick us out. So, all good? Did we get uh, this one? If you finish the exercise, please raise your hand. So everyone, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the end result is uh, telling someone to come here and describe, uh, describe his partner and what this partner is trying to accomplish and also why they want to feel. And this is the answer from the five whys. But like now we don't have like much time to give uh, for this exercise. But uh, can you allow us for one person? Two minutes? You, you want that to come up, please? Yes. Okay, cool. Hello. Yes. Do you, do you want us uh, to hear? Yeah. Okay. If you want. Um, so my partner, Jean-Sébastien here, um, we choose to focus on the durable aspect. Okay. So I asked him why he needs a durable wallet. He says that uh, because a durable wallet develops habits that when it's durable, you will use it uh, like uh, for a long time, and if you use it for a long time, you know where to fetch things inside. So the opportunity here is to use it for, for a long time. Yeah, that was the thing. And then when I asked him, why do you need to like have such habits of keeping things for a long time? He says because he doesn't like to consume things too much. He wants to be savvy with uh, his things, so he keeps them like for a long time. And when I asked him why, does he, uh, why not change uh, wallets every like two or three, uh, three other, uh, other two or three years? He says that because the wallet is something that's supposed to be functional, and if it's functional and I develop habits over it, I don't need to change. So change is not really useful for that topic, but only for that topic. And uh, we ended here. Cool. Did you uh, get a little bit uh, understanding of... Yeah. Sorry. Did you, merci, thanks. Uh, did you get to know uh, his partner a little bit? His need or the, the solution that he wants? So for example, if someone else wants to, to develop a solution for this person, he know what is the future is gonna do. Something is like durable that is gonna stay with him. Uh, something is uh, more functional, etc., cetera, et cetera. So anyone can be able to, to identify the futures or the epics that he's go gonna develop for this product that he want. Cool. So I guess my topic is uh, going to end here. Uh, the, the main uh, idea of, of today, of uh, this beautiful break, it's uh, to talk a little bit about design thinking or how to design uh, more innovative ideas by empathy. We, we today empathize with each other. I know that you're going to see some, uh, some methodologies are very fun or anything, but like you, you just break the ice from the person next to you or the person that you're creating services for. And this is empathy. And when you gain it, you develop uh, a good product that you know that the customer is going to meet and satisfied in the end. So uh, lastly, uh, design is not... Uh, this design is not a destination, it's more a journey. I, I would love if we have extra time, we could have do it, but that's the end. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you had fun. <laughs> so let's back to more serious problems. <laughs>